Skills to Achieve is designed to develop the physical literacy of our primary age young people, but it's much more than that. Skills to Achieve has four main themes, physical me, social me, healthy me and thinking me. So it's about developing the whole child. The whole of Skills to Achieve recognises young people's progress in physical education, but more importantly, how those experiences are developing young people socially, emotionally, supporting their thinking skills, supporting their awareness of their health and well-being. And that's really different. Skills to Achieve adopts a stage, not age approach and provides a framework for assessment without levels which meets the outcome of the new PE national curriculum. All schools are facing a future where there is assessment without levels and I think Skills to Achieve is helping our school make really great strides towards that. To be able to show um, the differences or the progress in boys, in girls, um, in age groups, there's a whole host of, of reporting ideas. Not only do the young people progress through levels, but they are recognised and rewarded as they go through those levels and can collect statements of their achievement on the way through. It's just what Ofsted require. Ofsted want to see progress over time, and this shows it. It consistently monitors the progress of each child. It personalises their learning, and it informs teachers on how to improve their teaching. The key challenges that primary schools are facing at the moment is particularly how to evidence the impact of the PE and Sport primary premium. Um, so Skills to Achieve is a fantastic way of allowing schools and enabling schools to track pupil progress and engagement in activities both within school and outside of schools. Skills to Achieve helps us to meet the Chief Medical Officer's recommendations on physical activity for young people. Some of the things in the, in the social media are quite fun, like we got to make the games and that was really fun working with other people. The children should be aware of the health side of the assessment tool because they need to know how to keep healthy and the changes in their body when they're doing physical activities. I think one of the most unique and exciting aspects of Skills to Achieve is the opportunity for children and parents to engage together. One of the really good changes is the way that they're getting their parents involved and, and parents that you would never imagine seeing in a pair of trainers or walking to school are being inspired by their children. The website will give us a more informed picture which parents can access at any time, teachers, children can access. We're not forcing them to do this, they're actively wanting to go out and do it themselves. They don't even know that they might be sweating a little bit, you know, it's good fun. Skills to Achieve is a programme which contextualises the physical development of a youngster within the whole child. You're going to end up with somebody really balanced and they're in charge of it. My recommendation to primary head teachers is have a really good look at this. It's been piloted in lots of primary schools and everyone that's seen it and tested it says it's the most effective tool they've ever had for assessment. Mm -hmm.